Water, give me water. Water, water. He ni maji wa save. Mstochwe. The making of episode. I do not care. Down. Go that to cheers. End of season. End of season. One. Cheers. Hey guys, yes. welcome back to our channel. This is Beyond the Mark podcast with Pam and Paula. This is Paula and this is Pam. Thank you so much guys for massive support over the past few videos. We are at a thousand subscribers. Yay. Thank you so much guys. We appreciate our continuous subscribing and sharing with friends and families. We really, really, really appreciate. Guys, this is the fifth and the last episode of our first season dating life of a single mom mm -hmm. yes and in this episode we are discussing boundaries, boundaries. yes talking of boundaries pam mm -hmm. you are in a serious relationship are you mm. yes I yeah. Am. yeah so um as your partner at any point been insecure about your baby daddy N insecure I'm asked anything about your baby daddy. Asking does not mean he is insecure. But in okay. It means that he wants to know something if Maybe there is a connection insecure. between you and the baby daddy. Yeah, he has ever mm -hmm. he has ever asked. So and uh, so what is there any boundary that you've set between you and the baby yes, daddy? Yes, definitely I have set boundaries. You know, um uh, my current relationship Mm -hmm. uh, I am in a serious relationship, as you've said. Okay. And yes, my partner has mm -hmm. asked about my baby daddy. Okay. Uh, he, he asked, like, um, do you talk to your baby daddy? Mm. Uh, does your baby daddy support? Do you talk? We don't. Do you talk? <laughs> we don't. Okay. And does uh, your baby daddy support your kids? No, he doesn't. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> my my okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Pam, as uh, your baby daddy, do you have sex with the baby daddy? No, we don't have sex so with the baby, baby daddy. So your baby daddy is not eating your coochie? My baby daddy is not eating my coochie. Manze, but you, why not? Because we are not in a relationship anymore. I okay. have someone else who is giving me that. Sometimes. Yes, the man you want in a blue moon. In our first video. And then you watch. <laughs> and then you watch your video. Pama Lisa man, I get some. <laughs> once in a blue moon. You're supposed to bring me sex toys. Ah yeah. Ah yeah. <laughs> That's a boundary I have set with my baby daddy. That's great. Yeah. That's fantastic. And it's very important because yeah. uh, I'm not confused yeah. about my relationship, about my kid, about my tomorrow. Yeah. True. Yeah, yeah. So your baby daddy doesn't support, doesn't upset, doesn't yes. nada. Yes, yes. He's just yeah. there. To meet a dead bit. No. He's there. He's the father okay. of my kid. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> So guys, another boundary I think you're supposed to set with the person you're dating at the moment is mm -hmm. uh, beliefs. Hmm. Yeah. 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 True. I, I believe that as much as you're dating, mm -hmm. we come from different angles. We come from different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. So do not at any point. This is my kid I'm raising. Exactly. <coughs> You found me with this kid. I have my way of raising up a kid. Okay? Mm -hmm. So if you're coming in my life, mm -hmm. just come as a guy who mm -hmm. is dating. Come as a guy who is dating me. Mm -hmm. Don't come as a dad. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. You, that will come gradually. How would you come as a dad? And <laughs> Some do. That will come gradually. But okay. first come as someone who is dating me. 
yeah. okay mm-hmm. so that uh believes you do not bring your this is how you're supposed to bring your ki- you, to bring up your kid yeah according to my customs according mm-hmm. to my word words mm-hmm. like you're not supposed to do this to me have you have you been in a relationship am i in a situation ship uh-huh. where someone has imposed a belief on you yeah you have? Yes, I oh, have. Tell us. Yes, I give have. Us tea. Yes, give I us have. the tea. Yes, I <laughs> give have. Give us the tea. Yes, I we have. We love tea. And that was so wrong of you, whomever. Wow. Mm. So, mm-hmm. there's a person who told me that uh, I'm not supposed to, like, kiss my kid. <gasps> Why? Okay, like, kiss where? Nahata? Or even. Why not? It's not like we are having deep kiss. Okay. Where? So, what was his reason? Because... Um, that's that is wrong, cultural, cultural wise. Okay. That is wrong. That's my kid. If I want to kiss him, kiss him, hold him, do whatever I want with that's my kid. Yeah, I have also had someone tell me that. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and some someone told told me by the way to to cut my baby's hair, like the way I shave my kid. Someone told me that, ah, you know, that is very wrong. You don't have to. But you watch, I'm total on your level you're layout. So I'm like. It's make a style. <laughs> like, wait a minute. Mimi ndio nalipa yo kinyozi. Yes, I've had someone tell me, mm-hmm. do not kiss your kid. Mm-hmm. Because, um, do not kiss your kid. Because, you, I cannot be kissing you and you're also kissing your kid. Oh, okay. Yes, I can't be kissing you and you're also kissing your kid. And I was like, why not? Why not? Like, you're teaching, you, you know, you don't have to kiss Guys, if we are raising, your, 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 yours is a son, mine is a son, so yeah. we're raising sons. Mm-hmm. And we have seen boys being raised in a way that they are not supposed to show emotion, yeah. right? So, if you cannot show attempt how to show emotion as young kids even when they grow up mm-hmm. as much as we're trying to to fight depression in boy yeah. child and mm-hmm. whatnot mm-hmm. we will not be able to allow them to show emotion exactly. when they're grown up yeah. so i believe that <coughs> at that tender age show them that it's okay not to be okay true, true if they want sure. to cry they, let them cry let them cry let them cry if they have to cry let show them that they can show some love yeah. so that I mean, no man at Kona no me, I'm called romantic. Who can say by the way? Okay, on that on that point, let's bring some romantic men up. On that point, can okay. I mean, like chip in? Yeah. And maybe like counter attack you guys on that. Um, yes, that's our director again. Yes. <laughs> so, on the point of maybe you should not kiss your kid and uh, you should not cut your kid's hair. Uh huh. Could it be maybe like um. It's been a custom for ages, maybe to protect the kid against From what? maybe being shaved by other people. Uh, maybe it will bring this is twenty twenty two generational curses. Mm-hmm. Also, there is a health condition. What? We are cutting those generational curses, curses now? <laughs> yes, this is twenty twenty two, man. Yeah. This is twenty twenty two. We don't have to. We don't have to live. Okay, I'm not saying you do not respect your traditions. We do All respect. I'm saying is, man, that things are so just absurd <laughs> to follow. Like shaving, just to say, for instance, I'm not with my baby daddy, mm-hmm. senior, mm-hmm. and I follow the custom that the baby has to be shaped by Sidri, the grandfather, our baby daddy. Nchana kumto happy? Where am I supposed to get that grandfather? So, so the, my, my baby is in a row. So the kid should never grow because of that. <laughs> I mean, I come on. There yeah. are things that there are things that we cannot at any point follow, not to disobey traditions or anything, mm. but because of circumstance and also because of we are at the modern age. We are living a modern life. Which you wanna do what you wanna do again? Yeah. Okay, hear me out. Okay. Hear me out. Okay. Hear me out. Mm-hmm. So on the point of maybe you should not kiss your kid and you're also kissing me, could it be like um you, you see a kid is very sensitive uh, mm-hmm. when it comes to health. You may be kissing someone, you don't you don't really 
know that person like health wise and everything and also you're kissing the kid you may be transferred and maybe some germs and from that person you're dating okay. to the kid you know yeah. you get you get the point yeah and you know maybe this person may not be showing symptoms of an underlying condition uh -huh. because maybe they have uh, generated like antibodies to prevent showing those symptoms but the kid is still young which means they haven't created those antibodies and maybe infected by something you wouldn't have knowledge of <laughs> Does that make sense? I, no, that's a good question, Does Director. That yes, yes, <laughs> that's a yes. very good question. From Jeff and Anza. <laughs> I would like to let you know that we are mothers. You protect your kid Mothers at come, cost. Motherhood come with knowledge. We are not deep kissing our kids. These are not our lovers. Yeah, these are our, our kids. I mean, it's not. There's not even saliva being exchanged. This, at this we are point. not exchanging saliva. You to get it, kids. Emma? What kissing are you talking about, director? Mm -hmm. Just any transference. You said you can kiss the lips. And yeah. it's just like a peck, like mm, mm, mm. how is that? There's not. You see, mm. no saliva. Yeah. Yeah, no saliva. <laughs> but you guys still use like cosmetic products. You're not kissing your kid with cosmetics. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're not always in this. We are not always in here. shoot Don't ask me a question. No more questions, <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. yes. So, guys, guys, don't let anyone bring up their beliefs or customs at you. If you want to raise your kid like this, like this is how you want to raise your kid, mm. raise them. If you believe it's for the benefit of your kid, raise them like that. Exactly, okay? yeah. Unless they're bringing, of course, a very, a very, you know, very important point that, of course, is very crucial. Mm -hmm. Unless they're bringing in such a point. For instance, if you tell me that uh, you need to take your kid to school. Exactly. Why is your kid not going to school? Yeah, such points are acceptable. Yeah. But is it points is in it? You want your level to do up is do well? No. 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 Boy, bye. Boy, bye. <laughs> Bye bye. Okay, so far, what's another boundary that you have set with your ba with your husband? No, hey, before babe. before that, personally, you say you mentioned something about school. Uh, personally, as the director, uh -huh. I don't believe that <laughs> you should take your kids to school. Mm -hmm. What? That's your belief now. That's your that's belief. your belief. And, and that's okay. if we are dating, please do not impose that on me. Don't impose that this is my kid unless we are married. That's your belief, and that's okay. It's okay not to take your kid to school. Homeschooling, not at the same time to heart as summer. Homeschooling, that's okay because that's your belief and that's what you want. And we are okay with that. And that is, but don't tell me, don't tell me to not take my kid to school to homeschool him or her. No, yeah, of course, you're dating, but if you're what if you're in a marriage situation? situation? situation okay i'm not married now i can't tell because <laughs> but 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 i believe if we are married we have to now have, have that discussion have that discussion so and agree how, yeah exactly. you tell me the advantages disadvantages i tell you the same yes and we weigh the options yes and guys. agree what is yes, okay guys. And so okay. Okay. do your thing do your thing mom also dads also by the way yeah. <laughs> We're talking also to single dads, not only single moms. Also, single dads, don't let that woman you're dating impose their beliefs on how mm. to raise your kid. Yeah. Raise your kid how best you believe is for that for the benefit of the kids exactly. and their future. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, Pam, what's the boundary that you've set with between you and the person you're currently dating? Another boundary that you've set that you um, might want to share with the single parents around. Mm -hmm. The boundary that I have set with the person that I'm currently dating is um, I have not involved my kid fully, like not, I have not like involved my kid. So you have introduced them? Not like introducing, but like, hi, and that's okay. all. Okay. I have not like involved my kid in my relationship and uh, solo moms out there and solo, uh, solo dads out there mm -hmm. do not, um, if your kid is young is older do not uh, let them in to the relationship yeah yeah okay so guys solo moms solo dads 
out there. Mm -hmm. These are the boundaries you're supposed to set in a relationship. Ensure that once you set those boundaries on the very first date, they continue to flow. This lucky madam, this lucky daddy. Let them flow from the very first day. Like let the boundaries be set straight. Keep them strong. Mm -hmm. And also, guys, ensure you do not lose yourself exactly. in that relationship. Mm -hmm. If if the person you're dating and apenda kucheza football, ama anapenda ku watch football. Yeah. Don't this you kwa una watch football because the person you're dating watches football. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. That is you losing yourself and that will exactly. turn you as desperate. It's very desperate by yes, the way. Yes, <laughs> you will seem also de become you tend to become codependent on that person. Mm -hmm. So guys so guys, uh, the director <laughs> is asking us to apologize for the lies. Yes, we know mm -hmm. We are sorry. We are so sorry for that, guys. Mm -hmm. We are working on a whole new setup. Yeah. Guys, uh, whatever is about to come up. You're not ready. You are not ready. <laughs> we are working on a whole new setup and that is going to be so serene, accommodating to ensure that we have a seamless experience with you people mm -hmm. also guys also guys we are working on a merchandise yeah are you ready for beyond the mark merchandise are you ready are you ready we have t-shirts hoodies caps ensure you show your support to us guys by purchasing those merchandises yeah. ensure you buy from us to support this channel yeah. let us grow together guys let us grow together show your support we'll have our email there our yes we there. will you will reach us yes so we should get us it'll reach to us we will at the down below we have our email down there you can reach to us through that and yes and if you have our numbers we can you can contact us directly. yes we are ready to sell it yes you can get them through us we will tell you once they are ready. Yeah. Yes. Get ready. So guys, we have come to the end of this video and season. season. Yes. The first season is up, guys. Dating life of a single mom. Yeah. Yeah. And the second season is about to air real soon. You don't want to miss it. Yes. We it's have fire. It's going to be hot. <laughs> like heat up. Yes, we have hot topics lined up for you guys. Mm -hmm. We have guests yes. in this new season. Guests you want to see in your screen. Yay. Yes, we'll be inviting a variety of guests to discuss a variety of topics. You don't want to miss it. So make sure you have subscribed. Subscribe. Make sure you have hit that notification bell yeah. to ensure you don't miss on any of you our episodes. Share with your friends. Share with your family and keep it locked. This is Quaheri. the end of this season. Bye. Quaheri.